If you are planning to come to Belgium or you have just arrived to Belgium or you have arrived to Belgium a few weeks back or let's say a month back and now you're looking for a place to settle for yourself and you don't want to live at your friend's place anymore, this video is just for you because I'll be sharing with you the whole process of finding an accommodation for staying in Belgium for short term and long term. Also, I'll let you know about the steps involved in this process and also some hidden costs so that you can be better prepared. Accommodation that you are looking for can fall under two categories, either short-term accommodation or long-term accommodation. Short-term accommodation is when you're looking for a place to live for, let's say, a month, three months, six months or maximum, I mean, some months just within one year. And that kind of accommodation, apart from hotels and Airbnbs, is very less. And those are the business flats. There are different companies in Brussels and in Belgium who provide business flats. But the most popular is BBF, the Brussels Business Flats. I also stayed there. But my two cents would be just that you have to be extra careful when you choose BBF or business flats because uh, whenever a new person comes to Belgium, they don't have a bank account yet that they have created. So creation of an escrow account where the security deposit is blocked between the owner and the tenant, that's not possible. So they take your security deposit in cash. That means when you leave your apartment, let's say after three months, chances are high that you will not be able to negotiate a lot when your charges are deducted. So you have to be extra careful when you stay in the business flats. Uh, no damages, not even slight of it because these people have a tendency of deducting huge security deposit. The benefit of business flats is that you can reserve them, book them, even staying in another country. So you will have a place to stay from day one when you land in Belgium. But uh, whenever you do any damage while staying there, just inform them upfront. And it's my suggestion, whenever you are about to exit the property, you should ensure that the exit formalities happen in front of you so that whenever a person comes for inspection, they should look around in the place in your presence. So maybe try to negotiate that. This way you will be able to see for what they deducted the money uh, and then you will be able to negotiate somewhat. So BBF are more expensive than the other uh, rental properties that will be available but they have an added benefit. Like I mentioned, you can book them already without arriving in Belgium so you'll have a place to stay since from the first day but and they will also provide you everything from utensils to bed sheets and everything and cleaning facility also throughout your stay so you don't have to take headache in the initial days when you come here so that's the benefit also you don't have to get an internet connection because it will be a fully furnished property so they'll be really the serviced flats but they come with a cost in the topic of short-term accommodation I'll share my personal experience we took a BBF in our initial days of Belgium so for three months we stayed in a BBF apartment which was a very small it was a very small studio about 35 meters square imagine and for that we paid 950 euros a month and this was the same amount of security deposit also we did not break anything there was no damage in the property but still the bill that came to us that was deducted from a security deposit was 600. You can imagine we tried our best to negotiate and get reasons why this was deducted, but we only got some stupid uh, comments like the, the utensils were damaged, etc., which we do not recall of. And then just to cross check these guys, we asked them that we are paying for the utensils because they were damaged. Can you give us? So they said that we threw them away. So I was 100% sure that this is really a scam-ish thing but then honestly we don't have many options in the initial days so I guess until we have a solution we have to choose BBFs. 
the next category of accommodation is long term accommodations so if you are staying for more than one year then you will have to choose long term accommodation generally in belgium you find very less flats and apartments that are rented for one year but honestly you don't realize how time flies so you might end up staying for 3 years or more and usually the contracts are for 3 months 6 years or 9 years and then they are renewed Now the big question is how to look for these long term accommodations when you are staying away or even if you have stayed in Belgium for about a year and now you are looking to change your place so uh There are Facebook groups and you'll see lots of advertisements which will look really nice and easy to you but I will not mention about them because Facebook is filled with scams and uh, you might not end up in a good situation so you should always rely on a trusted company and the biggest website in Belgium that has lots of listings about the property rentals and even for purchase of houses and apartments is Emo Web. Now the question is how to use Emo Web. Well, I have uh, moved into four different apartments uh, and all four apartments I found using Emo Web. So I think I can guide you here. So first very simple step is to create your profile so you'll have to log in and create your account where you will enter your details. The second step, the most important one will be to create a relevant filter or filters for you. The filters that you create can be given custom names, but your filter will depend firstly on your budget. What is your budget to rent the property? Then your area, which area as which city you prefer to rent your property in and also third what is the size of the apartment you are looking for are you looking for a studio or a 1 bhk or a 2 bhk so all this will become you know, coming in your filter criteria and there are some also very special filters like if you want a building with elevator or you want something on a ground floor with terrace or you want a garage inside your property or you know even in a society or building you want a garage facility or all that can be a part of your filter so to make it easy for you i'll give you an example and a demo here here i have already logged in with my account and now the first step i'm trying to do is create a custom filter for myself so when i click on for rent i'm sure that uh, i'm choosing only rental properties so i choose the postal code of the communes that i find interested and suiting my needs so just for sample i will be choosing four different communes in brussels and then i want an apartment let's say and then i will choose for a studio and put my budget here and i don't need anything immediately available so i'll skip that and rest of the details i'll uh, fill according to my need let's say when you come you will need a fully furnished kitchen which is very practical and you don't have any specific requirements for exterior so you can go on with this and these days it's very useful to choose the energy ratings of the apartments because of the high energy prices so you can choose up till e let's say in this example so you see you already have 17 properties that match your criteria so quickly search Uh, click on the save search button and give it a custom name so you are able to remember it next time when you come to emo web and here you see you have so many options a sample example would be there'll be pictures and then it will give you all the details some practical details about uh, the property so you can see that this particular property is immediately available so if you're looking for something like that this is a win win situation and you can also check all other details which will help you So now let's say you have selected your property and you find something interesting and suiting to your needs. So you will be contacting the owner and there will be two options generally. So it's either contact the owner directly via phone so the phone number will be displayed or the agency you can contact them depending whosoever is taking charge of the renting of the property. There's also an option to contact the owner via email. So to make it easy for you Emoweb has a standard 
a sentence that starts so that you can send the email directly without even typing any content but here's a little trick i propose that you create already a content let's say 10 line content where you introduce yourself and tell that where you are working what do you do for a living and how many people are you in a family do you have pets or not you have kids or not some information like this and also something which you think could make your case attractive to owners let's say you can just mention to them that uh, you have very good uh, records previously with other owners or you are willing to pay rent on time etc etc you're a calm person you don't party so i leave that to you but that content if you keep it handy let's say in your notes you can just copy paste every time hi sir ma'am copy paste and then you're sincerely you can write down your name and contact number also that you are available to have a call at any time or between this slot on this days so i think it will help you a lot why because as i speak now uh, in 2023 the demand supply is really in the favor of the owners so the demand is increasing and increasing day by day because many expats are coming to belgium and they are looking for properties and but the properties are limited so to make your proposal stand out you should do these things when the demand and supply was a bit normal still i have followed these steps which made the renting experience you know finding the suitable property experience easier for me so i think you should give it a try i am sure you will be sending 10 emails per day to be the minimum and more and more properties will be added and you'll see new options in your filters even if you get one response from any of this it's a very good thing just mark my words so let's say if everything goes smooth you will arrive at the next positive step which is scheduling a visit so you and your uh, owner or let's say the agency person will agree on a time and you will visit the property to see how it is in reality If you like the property and the owner also is positive about you, you will be required to give some proofs about your pay slips, your ID cards. So keep it already with you somewhere. Let's say attach it in your Google Drive or somewhere. Keep it handy so that you don't have to look for these things at the last moment and waste time. Trust me, properties once available, they go really quickly away. So you should be really ready. So. Generally they ask for your pay slips of the last 3 months and then you should keep your passport also ready if you are an expat you are not in Belgium and if you have already a Belgian ID card you can also keep a PDF of that ready with you in your laptop or mobile so these things you can readily send to them as soon as they ask it. if you are already staying in Belgium and you are looking to change the place where you live and you are looking to rent another property another option which is very common is when you walk on the street you will see some banners right on the windows of the properties and they would be mentioning like allure so that means that this particular property is ready to be rented and there is usually a mobile number or a landline number written there so feel free to take pictures of that whenever you see such things and you like the area etc and you can call the any person whoever is there on this particular number and start the process so i also advise you to not underestimate this process because if you are already here it's good to you know really walk in the area explore how it is like is supermarket nearby or not what is the vibe of the place and when you actually see this place you can see whatever uh, apartment is available and call the person In this section of the video I will tell you some very important things that you have to do when you're moving into a new place. So either your owner or the agency guy will tell you this, but if not, you should know about these processes. The number one is état des lieux. État des lieux is a process when before you move into the apartment, it's an official documentation made about the status of the property. Example, uh what is the quality of the property? Are there already some known damages? or there are some scratches on some things this might look 
extra for you but trust me this will help you really when you exit the property because at the time of exit also such a documentation will be made in detail with pictures and this helps to keep the situation between the owner and the tenant very cool and normal and just otherwise many times this happens that there is bitter quarrels between the owners and tenants because it's a question of security deposit and uh, we honestly don't know what was the status before so always go for itar the lu usually the agency guy will provide a recommendation or your owner might already have a agency that does itar the lu so they may recommend it one tip here is always select for entry and exit together so pay together this way you can earn some very nice offers and save some money so there's no point in paying already and then thinking okay after 3 years i'll pay no you never know about the prices and definitely when you choose two things together you get good discounts remember when you are changing the place where you live there's a compulsory process that you have to report in the new commune and get your address changed so you should do this the soonest this can be done either by visiting the commune in person or also it's possible by using the internet service like iris box Iris box is very very helpful not just to change your address but also to get very important documents so you can save lot of time and admin stuff by using this service if you want to know more about this let me know in the comments i'll be glad to help you your rental agreement when it's signed by the both parties it's also very important to register it at a government agency so your owner will take care about it but just remember that this thing is done so make sure it's done by your owner when you move in uh, another very very important thing is do not forget to note down the readings of the meters like the electricity meter the gas meter and the water consumption meter before you move in this is very very important because this way you can track your actual consumption and you don't have any ugly surprises just like electricity gas and water another necessity is internet so do not wait for the internet connection after you move in but as soon as you uh, sign the contract or you have finalized your place of stay you can already book an appointment with your internet provider so that they can come and transfer your connection or start a new connection for you because appointments there take a lot of time and it's not that you call today tomorrow or even in one week there'll be someone to do the work of your internet connection so minimum take one month of time so to inform your internet provider and take an appointment and even if there are still 3 months it's a good idea to already take an appointment if you're moving into an apartment building that which is a part of a you know big society it's very common that there will be a system of you know plaques or let's say the name plates which will be printed when the you move in your owner will arrange for all those things but the cost has to be borne by the tenant so this will not be visible to you immediately but after one year you have moved in and all the charges of the year are calculated such costs will be added so make sure this is already clear to you what if you have any other costs like that which is under the name of move in cost okay and uh, if your building has an elevator then naturally your maintenance charges will be 100 euros more per month in summary if you are coming for a short term there's no point in buying lots of things and furnishing your house so you can go with bbf with all the points that i mentioned previously and but if you are staying for longer you should take dbf only in the beginning so let's say one month if possible or three months maximum so that you can use this time to find the right property for you and then move in with peace in the home of your choice so that was the video guys i hope you found it very helpful and uh, if you have any more questions don't hesitate to drop in comments i'll try to respond them in time and you can also email me if you have some uh, detailed queries you want to schedule a session my email is mentioned in the description of the channel i'll see you very soon in the next video and you do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet share the video like the video and drop some comments if you like this video very much i'll see you very soon in the next video and bye bye i'm running away